Hallelujah. 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 You are starting your day this morning. This worship is a bit different. You're starting your day this morning. Maybe you don't feel as best as you should. Maybe you feel down, disappointed, discouraged by things that you've seen. It just doesn't line up, does it? But actually it does. The thing is, God works very much in mysterious ways. And a lot of times we don't have the full understanding in the process of things. But usually when he brings us through to the end, he allows us to reflect and shows us how everything was always working together for our good. So most likely you're in an in-between. If you're in an in-between situation where nothing makes sense, this morning, raise your praise to God. Hallelujah. Even though it doesn't make sense. Sing hallelujah anyhow. Oh, hallelujah anyhow. Say hallelujah anyhow. You know what, God? Thank you anyhow. I don't get it. I'm disappointed. But I don't want anything to come between me and you. Heavenly Father, we ask you to forgive us for our sins, our transgressions, our iniquities. Father, anything we did against your word, we confess today according to 1 John 1 and 9. And we ask you, Father, not just to forgive us, but to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. While we are in a posture of confession, we also ask, as the Lord's Prayer says, that as you forgive us, help us to forgive those who have trespassed against us. For if we don't forgive others, you can't forgive us according to your word. So bring us to a place of forgiveness in wherever we need to be. Show us things that, Father, we're holding on to that we don't even know. Because, God, a lot of times we do things that are against you and we don't even know. So, God, we need to know. Reveal to all of us if there's anything that we are holding against people. And, Father, bring us to a state of repentance for it. We repent in advance because we truly want to serve you. And... Activate forgiveness. Activate forgiveness because we don't desire to walk through life with unforgiveness and bitterness. And for those of us who are not ready to activate forgiveness, I pray that you bring them to a place where you can show them how forgiveness would help them to heal. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Heavenly Father, we also repent of the things that we have done against you. Repent, turn away, we turn away from it. And Father, because some of the things are unknown, even for the known and unknown things, we ask that you bring it back to our memory and show it to us so our repentance, our turning away from it can be successful in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for new energy today. Let everyone, under the sound of my voice, feel the energy you are pouring through me right now. Hallelujah. You let there be a transference of your energy, Father. Father, through this worship, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let there be it so. In the mighty name of Jesus, let it break up every spirit of oppression and spirit of heaviness. In the mighty name of your Son, Jesus the Christ, Yahushua Mashiach, hallelujah, for you are God, you are God alone, and though things may not be always clear to us, and though it's sometimes we get upset with you, which we are sorry for, <laughs> get upset because we have a lack of understanding, Hosea 4 and 6, thank you for being patient with us and allowing us to come before you and Confess and repent. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, we ask you to command our day in the mighty name of Jesus. Let everything fall into place according to your will for our lives. Let every weapon formed against us fail now under the sound of my voice. Oh, Father, weapons that are currently being formed, let they be broken right now to pieces by the hammer of God. Your word says, it's not my word like a hammer that breaketh a rock into pieces. Let the weapons formed by the enemy be broken to pieces along, Father, with the weapon strategists in the enemy camp. Father, along with those demonic 
agents of the kingdom of darkness. Let them be destroyed along with the weapons in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Break up every demonic ground foundation that they have been setting in place. Break it up with your hammer in the mighty name of Jesus. I take authority according to Luke 10, 19, where you've given me that authority to trample over all power of the enemy and nothing by any means shall harm me. Every spirit of retaliation come under Holy Ghost fire and be consumed and destroyed under the sound of my voice in Jesus' name. Every demonic spirit, every meeting that they have set against your people, let it now be filled with confusion. Strike their tongues and their understanding like you strike the human beings on the Tower of Babel. Let them not even understand each other. Father, send them fleeing and scattering in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the enemy camp end in scattering. Let them scatter and not even know what's going on. Father, give them confusion in language in the mighty name of Jesus. I send forth that confusion in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Father, I ask you to expose, Father, expose, reveal the plans of the enemies in your individual people that are listening to the, the live right now to this worship. Father, let it be exposed to them, but also not just exposed, but unseated, destroyed while you are showing them and when you show them the plans of the enemies against them let them not panic father help them to be calm and show them that this is you showing it to them and i pray that you show them the destruction too father in the mighty name of jesus for no weapon formed against us shall prosper hallelujah father i pray that you reveal to them those areas that the enemy was trying to attack, right? Reveal to them those errors in their lives. And I pray that you give them strategy, divine strategy and wisdom to strengthen those areas of their lives. So when the enemy tries to come back again, as his plans were just destroyed, that Father, they are well suited up, well oiled machine. There's foundation, there are walls, there's a roof. There is Father a protection, a protective barrier. Those areas have been strengthened and are fortified in the name of Jesus. Reveal it to them. Hallelujah. Reveal it to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Let today be a transformative day. Let it be filled with your wisdom, signs, and wonders, physical, spiritual, but let us see that this is your miracle, signs, and wonders. Let everything that has been held up by the enemy for your people be released now under the sound of my voice by the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. I send fire, heavenly fire, Holy Ghost fire to every spirit of setback, delay, and sabotage. May you be destroyed right now in the mighty name of Jesus, along with your weapons. The people that you have used, Father, remove those people from influence in the lives of your people. Give them no more power than they have already had. Remove their influence. Set them aside so that they can see how you work, Father. And that by seeing you work and come through for your people, that they are converted and realize, wow, who is this God? that was able to overcome everything I did to work against his people. Let them be converted and find your love in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm that you did not place in our lives, the things down to the TV shows that are distractions from the enemy, remove them in the mighty name of Jesus. Expose them and remove them. And Father, I ask for divine replacements, divine replacements that are approved by you, the clean, healthy shows, the games you approve of that we play in our devices, even down to our children 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, oh yeah, Father. Mm -hmm. Remove the foods, the foods that we're not supposed to be eating, that are actually harming our body and reducing longevity. You desire for us to live healthy lives. Everybody is different. There's certain things people can tolerate, their bodies that is, and certain things they can't. Sometimes we eat things our body can't tolerate and drink things our body can't tolerate. So remove the things in Jesus' name. Mm, hallelujah. I hear you, Holy Spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Remove the addictions to smoking. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command the spirit of addiction to be bound by the blood of Jesus. Shamed, disgraced, and cursed back to the pits of hell in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, you will never touch her again. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. You are cast out in the mighty name of Jesus. This is non-negotiable. The blood of Jesus is against you and you are destroyed in Jesus' name. Whoever that is for, receive your deliverance and healing and go forth and sin no more. Go forth and sin no more, as Jesus said. Do not pick up another one. Do not pick up another cigarette. In the mighty name of Jesus, do not pick up another one. Mm. For that would be it if you do. Do not pick up another one. That would be it if you do. Don't pick up another one. Go and sin no more. God has already removed that spirit from you. It is no longer a part of your life. A temptation to smoke, it does not mean that you are bound. It means that you can be tempted. The scripture says that when the enemy comes to us, it says resist the devil and he will flee. Spirits are allowed to come back and tempt you after deliverance. They come back and they tempt you to try and get you back in a place of bondage. Not that specific spirit that was just sent back to the pits of hell, but there are other similar spirits, right? Hallelujah, you have multiple of the same car. There's one car brand. If you have a Toyota Corolla, there are many Toyota Corollas. When the spirit is cast out and cast down, believe that there are other type of the same spirit on this earth, okay? So, yes, it could try to a new one could come and tempt you again, but you have to resist and he will flee. You are already free. You are already free. You're talking to someone who was bound by so many things and those temptations came back and God was able to show me they are just temptations. And so because I constantly turned away from them, the devil had to flee and he never had authority in my life again. God does it for me, he does it for you. I'm not more special than you are. We are all the same, equal value in Christ. No one is better than anyone here, okay? We are all human beings. You have been delivered. Walk in your deliverance. Go and sin no more. Don't ever turn back again. Not even an electronic cigarette is what I just heard. What I saw right here. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh. you are good. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Father. Mm -hmm. oh. 